Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Derail Valley. Yep, two episodes in two weeks and well, I think being stood here tells you pretty much what this video is all going to be about. So, you know what, let's jump on board. Let's see if I can remember how to drive this thing. We're going to set up our lights. We are going to come out here. We're going to open our door. Start our engine. That door. Tap light on. Give it a little bit the horn. Release the brakes. Put our reverser into forward. slowly forward. That's a bit of a bump onto the turntable. There we are. Let's spin the turntable around so we can get out of it. Like that. Get away in the cab and put it on the horn, and away we go. Really seem to be a comfortable life for looking out there. Yeah, we're gonna go roll around and we are gonna go and find the slug because I now know where to look. Oh, lights have just come on at the harbour. Click the reverser. This break. Do another two, just so they know we're coming. Yeah, that. That's not good. Well, you can't actually see what we're doing. Um, oh! Christ on a bike. Nick, if we've got to set the point. Right. Let's try that again. It breaks up. Power on. Right, I'm going to come back to you once we get out of this yard. And then I can show you where Steve's shed or garage is and we can unlock what we came for. So, 
after a few minutes of uh, huffing about, I am facing the wrong direction for what I want. But we are to bring up this map. So we are at the eastern end of Arborn Town. And we are gonna look out of here. Forward. Make sure our brakes fully off. Do a little do the horn. And instead of heading round into the harbour, we're gonna head up this line here. Which if had the map on me, I can show you it's a dead end. And I've never really paid attention to it before because why would you? It's not where we're heading, it's dead end on the map, so what use do we have of it? We're gonna head up here regardless. going to ramp up. Yeah, I can Oh yeah, she's working now. Twenty mile an hour. the power then. A bit of a set on the brake. That's too much. Remember we are still heading uphill. From here where it can actually Show you the brake. And then we've got a one up here. That's right off the power then. Sold it. Give it a one notch. Make our way up. Good for that view. So, as you can see, the harbour's over there. We are crawling up this dark and lonely line. And, yeah, it's taking a few minutes, isn't it? It's a bit windy, judging by that tree. Wow. 
this climb is longer than I thought. Almost at 28, that'll be fine. Oh, we can speed up a bit. Got a 30 there, but we have got a 20 again coming up. Just gonna notch back again. We've got 1.4% grade, a two and a cross. Well, we've never come across a cross like that before, so that must mean we're getting somewhere. Hopefully. Give a little tickle on the That's enough speed, yep. Don't want to burn it out. You just want to get up this hill. Worst oh, big corner. And what do we have before us? Right. Power off, power off. Brakes. Brakes. Yes, brakes. Okay. Walk straight up the big grand, please, Ken. Thank you. Steve's garage and using Steve's garage key there we have it look ah oh. found us a slug Let's rescue it from its temporary imprisonment. Oh. is something I've not yet done before on this game is grab that multiple unit hose yes put that in spin that around Transfer the air. We've not got lights on over there. Anything we do want to do. Oh, handbrake is off. Nice. Is there something we have to play with in here? 
No. This multiple unit just work. do oh yes we have blinding light right let's without further ado shut the door because it is late at night we are going to stick her in reverse and Release the brakes. Yep. We're going to head out with our slug unit. Ah, oh, that makes me so happy. Let's say up. Uh, Poor planning on my part means that we are running backwards with the lead engine, but when we get down, we can run around to Y and solve that, and yeah, I, I'm really happy with that, really, really happy. Right, let's come off power because yeah we do not want to go crashing off the mountain right. a bit more of a set Derail. I know this game is called Derail Valley, but that's it. One bar. One bar. I'm happy at. Just want to roll this down gently. Just a little nibble. Not quite that much of a nibble. Oh, that's the wrong way. Yeah, I want. Out there. Yes. Maintaining speed perfectly. He says. No, we're losing speed. Drop off a little bit more. used to having to have the brakes like this. Then I'm not used to having a setup like this. So what we'll do is we'll bring this back down to the yard. We'll have a proper look at it in the daylight. Oh, we are nearly done now. Cool. Right. 
we can rest the brakes a bit more. Yeah, we'll get it, get it down, have a look in the daylight, and then I think the next video is when we'll take it out on the open track. The reason I'm not going to take it out this time is because that could make for a very long video, and I kind of want to do a full run with this. So between videos I'm going to plan out what run we're going to do, work out where our train is for that run and more importantly which way around we need this to face. It's the last thing I want to do. We set up our train only to find that we're facing the wrong direction. So if I run around the loco from the slug and then I've got to mess around and do it all again, it's not going to be much fun for you guys, is it? Oh, may have overdone it slightly on the brake. Very weird bit of track there, there's a heck of a thing coming into this set of points. Kind of curves to the right and then the point kicks out to the left. Oh! No, 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 no. Right. Power up. Forward. That's it. Blink. Knock off the power. And then head back round to the harbour. Okay, to go round to this first guard. Not too worried about which point we come in, as long as we've got plenty of light. We have indeed. Few more yards. We can park under the light. And be over crossing. There we go. Kill the light so we're not blinded. and switch that off switch off cab light and let's go see what we've got as you can see visually you can kind of see where the slug comes from there is slightly smaller radiator panel there. And our top railing is lower also along with the doors. But of course it doesn't need a full height body on it. The 
because all it needs is the traction motors and the fuel tank. No, it doesn't even need the fuel tank, does it? Because the engine's all here. All we're doing is providing more tractive effort with this. And we're C328 DE6 slug. It's actually shorter as well. Which I guess makes sense because you don't need the room inside the frame for the fuel tank. As you can see, would be there. Although it's a bit strange that they've got the cut out when you've shortened the frame. You do either shorten it from one end, you wouldn't do a cut and shut. Yeah, overall, I'm not really happy with this. And I cannot wait to take these out. Because, of course, I've never taken the DE6 out. I've never used it on a run. So, you're going to get to see my first run with DE6. And the slug. That's the cool thing. Yeah, I've got double light there. Obviously, we haven't got the high hood. But otherwise, yeah. You can definitely see the lineage and it being a cut down D6. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. Hopefully, you were as excited as I was. Even though most of you have probably seen the slug by now on other people's videos. This is my first experience of it. I didn't go checking out other people's videos. To know what to expect. I literally used the Wikipedia page. For the description of where to find Steve's garage. As I had no replies in the comments. So I couldn't rely on that. But yes. That is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you did make it this far, type in slug in the comment. With that said, thank you very much. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.